I am going to stain my raised beds. So they, as you can see, are kind of like looking pretty rough. There are a couple different colors of wood and I'm gonna try to get them to look a little bit more uniform. I'm gonna use this um, stain from Gardener Supply and it is graphite gray, semi-transparent, made with um, it's like a casing paint, so it's food safe. My neighbor's right next door watching this car, watching this whole thing go down. <laughs> okay, but first I gotta sand them and try to prep the wood, get all the bird poop off, and uh, get them ready for this. So I'll just try it out today. I don't know if I'm gonna do the whole thing. We'll just get it started. I don't have an electric sander. I have a few sheets of sandpaper, so I don't know how far I'm gonna get. I like to just try things and then see how it's working and then adjust as I go. I'm not really a prepper. I don't prepare for big projects like this. I just jump right in. That's my style. All right, let's see. Let's see here. Okay, so, um, what I'm doing first is a sample. I'm gonna just uh, sand and stain one little section to see how it looks. Cause I'm clearly gonna have to like mow around here and get the blower out. So, <laughs> oh God, my process. That is super dramatic. Um, I am really excited. It is like really um, thin. I It's making me realize I've never worked with a stain like this before. Um, it's not like paint at all. It's like very watery. And at first it drips down and then it's kind of gone immediately. The wood just soaks it up so fast. So. It says to put on a second coat while it's still wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And oh, so exciting. I love it. This is what I really want to test though. See, because I've got three, two kinds of wood. This one's from 2020 and it's not treated. And this is from 2021 and it is treated. So they look very different now. Will the stain 
bring them to uniformity. This is the test. of a raised bed done and I've used about half of the can. Two coats each, but I don't think this is gonna be enough for all three. So I'm going to order another one and keep going. But yeah, that took like an hour. Not quick, but it's looking really good. Okay, update on these raised beds. So, I got stalled a little bit because I ran out of stain. Um, the stain did say I believe it would cover the amount of wood that I have, but I don't know if my wood was just really thirsty or if that was only meaning one coat and I wanted to do two coats. Um, but it did just cover about half of what I needed to do. and. So the way the stain works, you are supposed to put the second coat on when it's still wet. So I couldn't do like one coat on everything and then come back and do the second coat when I got a second quart. I have been living with half stained raised beds for the past couple months. So um, as you can see, this one is not, that's still the natural wood color. And this one, oop, I can turn around, is, dark gray with some bird poop yep um so now i have a new can of stain and i'm about to finish to do the very last um panel here behind me and so <laughs> i had looked closely at the packaging on the gardener supply raised bed stain and discovered that it came from a place called vermont natural coatings and so i um went and found on their website and they actually have quite a few more colors available if you order directly from them and it's the same product um, it's called charcoal gray so it's working everything's matching I'm really happy with it and actually the price was a little bit less I don't know that that would always be true for everyone because um, it depends on what kind of shipping deal you can get like if you were ordinary ordering a bunch of stuff from Gardener Supply. I think that you could probably um, save on shipping by putting it in that order, but, or maybe if you live close to Vermont, it might be um, easy for you to ship directly from them. But yeah, they have different sizes and different colors. So if you are interested in raised bed stain, I would definitely recommend checking out Vermont Natural Coatings. Okay, I'm gonna do my last panel here and then show you what it all looks like. This one I just did today and it's looking 
looking pretty good. Oh, actually, so let's see, this panel I did today and that panel was already done. So they match great. Just a few final thoughts. A, I totally love it. Black grays beds are my thing. And um, there are a few things I probably would have done differently if I had planned ahead or knowing what I know now. Um, number one, well, if I'd really planned ahead, I would have stained all the wood before I built the raised beds because it's kind of hard to get into the nooks and crannies. Um, if I hadn't been that, good at thinking ahead. I would have really tried to get all the stain. Two quarts of stain is what I needed for three four by eight raised beds that are 12 inches tall with trim. Um, I would have gotten two quarts at the same time, painted them all at once before I planted them up. It wasn't that big of a deal to finish the project now, but there are some leaves hanging over the edge that I had to either trim away or lift up. They're not like the actual parts of plants that I'm going to eat, so I'm not concerned about them getting a little stain on them. They'll just um, recover and be composted eventually. And it's food safe, whey based stain anyway. Um, but then I think also, if I would have known that I was going to stain them this dark, dark gray or black almost, I would have gotten black screws. I used tan screws on them because I wanted that to match the pine, but now they stand out a little bit against the black wood. They did take some stain, especially on the second coat, so they're not like glaringly obvious, but black screws would look better. So yeah, I am really happy with my raised beds. I am so glad it's done. It's early May and have the whole summer to look at these gorgeous raised beds. The, they just really pop, make the green grass around them look super bright and the green plants inside. So I'm excited to see how they continue to work and look throughout the summer. So I really hope this was helpful for you if you are thinking about staining your raised beds. I'm super happy with the project and um, definitely would recommend the Gardener Supply raised bed stain or grabbing it from Vermont Natural Coatings if you want more color options. All right, bye.